Stand at attention, Mr. Krabs. I want you to tell me the meaning of this. Sir, why, sir, that's a sea cucumber sandwich, sir, with a crust cut off, sir. A little pussy amusey for the boys, sir. This is the Navy, son. We don't cut the crusts off. We eat the crusts and throw the rest away. Oh, but that's... That's madness. I'm telling you for the last time, you're gonna have to stop making your food so delicious. But I don't know how. Well, you better figure it out. I need my men wild-eyed and hungry crabs. We've got a cargo hold full of suntan lotion. Wait, you were transporting suntan lotion? <laughs> What SPF? <laughs> I don't see what's so amusing about that, Mr. Squidward. We were a cargo ship, and it's straight into pirate territory with a fresh supply of suntan lotion for shipwreck sailors whose skin was chafed. <sighs> chafed, Mr. Squidward! Chafed! Chafed! I, sir, I understand, sir. Chafed. So, tonight's meal is gonna be terrible, you understand me? I, sir. What's all this huzzahing about? Oh, nothing, sir. Uh, they just really enjoy eating slap. Good boys. Attention! Hmm. Looks like slop, all right. Uh, what's this? Cherries Jubilee? Cherries Jubilee! Cherries Jubilee? Well, flaming Cherries Jubilee. Flaming? What are you trying to pull, you lubber? This looks like regular Cherries Jubilee. Well, you see, sir, I was just going to take this here match and... <laughs> and so I found myself in the brig with two guards watching me every move. Then something happened that made me mind up for... We were under attack! I had to act fast! Wake up, lad! Wake up! Burn your matter stations! Oh. I was on me own! I could see it all! A pirate ship! And on that island, a crew of fine naval men! Our only hope, marooned on a beach by those same scurvy pirates and suffering from the effects of chafe, sunburn. The pirates had already launched a boat and were preparing to board our vessel. Row, you worthless dogs! Stand down, crabs. I'll have you in irons. Listen to me, Captain. This is going to get real ugly real fast. We've got to get to the cannons. We're not outfitted for battle, crabs. There's no ammunition. The cannons are ornamental at best. Ornamental at best! Then listen carefully. You'll have to go down to the cargo hold and poke holes in the barrels of suntan lotion and scuttle the ship. What you're suggesting is mutiny! Do as he says, Captain. What are you using for ammo there, Ensign? Oh, I rolled up an old moldy sandwich crust into a hard little ball. That's it. Come with me, lad. Seven seas together. I can't let you go, lass. I'd be in violation of the naval code. Enjoy your last meal. I hope you like spun sugar. Huh? Oh. <laughs> what are we all winking about? I don't know. <laughs> Thanks, Kenny. Kenny, sir, it would mean a lot if you'd sign my 
my official Kenny the Cat spatula. Thanks, Kenny. You're so real. Oh, you're hungry? What do you say we move this autograph session to the Krusty Krab? Did you see that? Kenny just gave me his trademark A-OK -OK hand sign. Swoon, swoon. and every one of yous. And I will have time to take each and every one of you dollars. Look at myself. I'm not being a very good host. Excuse me. You just make yourself at home, Kenny. I mean, Mr. The Cat. Here you go. Condiments on the house. Don't tell anybody. Welcome to the Krusty Krab family. Mr. The Cat, everything okay? <laughs> Say, Mr. Krabs, it's going to be a long day for Kenny. How about we give him a minute to freshen up? What an excellent idea, SpongeBob. A clean cat is a money-making cat, I always say. Please avail yourself of the lounge facilities. Well, I best get back to manning the grill. <sighs> this gets real uncomfortable after a while. <laughs> You, Mr. the Cat. I just saw you'd like a bite to. Whoa! Uh, Good thing I got this oxygen tank and mask. Otherwise, there's no way I'd be able to hold my breath this long. How could you, Caddy? You broke my heart. Here I was this entire time believing your act, only to discover that it was nothing but a fact. But. It's not what you think. There's no room for thoughts now. Only for tears. No. SpongeBob, wait! Whoa. Oh, Kitty, how could you? You are my idol. You know, I should really talk about this with someone or I might get depressed. SpongeBob, please let me explain. I'm just the cat with a dream. A dream to give the gift of hope. See, above water, I'm a nobody. Just another annoying cat. But down here, I'm someone special. Someone who can make people happy. And if making the world a happier place makes me a criminal, <laughs> then lock me up and so away the key. Have mercy. All right, Kenny, all right. I promise I won't tell anyone. Really? Yes, really. All right. Thanks, Bob. You're the best friend I ever had. Now, if you excuse me, I gotta sign some autographs. Ah, the cat of the hour is back. Sign for these fine dollars? I mean, uh, suckers? I mean, uh, some autographs? <laughs> Gee, it sure is nice to meet another air breathing, warm blooded varmint down here. <laughs> Just out of scientific curiosity, how do you hold your breath for so long? Uh, uh, we needn't burden ourselves with such needless scientific technicality, Sandy. I'm just wondering, SpongeBob. I mean, he does defy all scientific logic, considering the fact that all air breathing mammals need oxygen to the brain and lungs to survive. Bye for more than three minutes. Hey, maybe we should show our fine guest a little more hospitality, hmm? What has gotten into you, SpongeBob? Can I talk about what must surely be happening from a biological standpoint? I mean, like the lack of oxygen will tighten the capillaries in the lungs, causing a dangerous level of carbon monoxide to rise in the bloodstream, which in turn leads to a ghostly blue color to the skin, followed by eventual unconsciousness. I can't take it! I need oxygen! Kenny was a fake. Oh, come back! Oh, thanks a lot, you air breathing charlatan. And you can forget about these freak condiments, too. Good day, gentlemen. Oh, good, good day, day ma'am. Hello, young missy. Well, hello, ma'am. How can we help you today? So far, so good. Ma'am? You haven't thrown me out yet. 
ma'am? It's all coming together now. Can I help you, ma'am? <laughs> a withdrawal? A transfer? Anything? Free interest? <gasps> oh, yes! I'll have that, please. Okay, but you'll have to make a deposit first. Oh, of course. Here's me prize penny to deposit in a new account. Okay, I'll set it right up. Wait! Uh, what you doing? Penny doesn't want to be crammed in there with all those other coins. She wants a money condo of her own. Okay, you want a safe deposit box then? Oh, yes! Penny would have one of those. Uh, this way, please. Wait! Can I have a moment with me, Penny, alone? <sighs> Make it quick. We're closing in five minutes. Oh, Penny. I'm going to miss you. <laughs> oh, it's in your bed, I tell you. Uh, uh, Penny, Penny, one last kiss. Goodbye. <laughs> It's just you and me now, little Penny. Ooh, it's a wee bit cramped in here. Oh, well, that looks secure. Whoa! Were you people trained in a barn? <gasps> this can't be true. It is true. I've landed in money nirvana. Me wildest dreams finally come true. to tell you this, but Mr. Krabs is missing. Oh, my gosh. I know. Oh, my gosh. Don't worry. I'll find him. Oh, my gosh. Call him on his cell. You look absolutely stunning tonight, Mrs. Greenback. Waiter! Oui, oui, monsieur. What can I get you and the lady tonight? The lady would like to start with a million clams, a side of investments, and hold the taxes. I'll have the same, but with extra no taxes. <laughs> Such a friendly fella. Good looking, too. I'm almost going to regret not leaving him a tip. Hello. Mr. Krabs, are you okay? I'm fine, boy. In fact, I'm dancing with a beautiful lady. Oh, that's nice. Yes, and she's made entirely out of money. What? Where are you? I'm locked in the bank vault and having the time of my life. Oh, and I think I'm running out of oxygen and it's making me lose my mind. I gotta save Mr. Krabs. This vent will surely lead us straight to Mr. Krabs. Let's get him! Huh? <laughs> Let's do that again. Not now, Patrick. We're running out of time. And more importantly, Mr. Krabs is running out of oxygen. Oh, Mrs. Greenback! Mrs. Greenback, you're okay. Uh, I was so worried. I'm so sorry. You must never run away like that again. What's this? Oh, little miss! What the Neptune? My slimy money dragon! You're not sucking away me fortune without a fight! Give me back, Mrs. Greenback, you beast! <laughs> Patrick, you ready? This lock won't know what hit it. Ah, uh, careful, Patrick. Use finesse. Oh, right. I'll use the finesse. Good morning, gentlemen. Ah! Oh, I've got to know, money sucker! What does it leave you with? It's you or me now. It's you. Security. And don't forget your deposit. Hey, Mr. Krabs, what's the good word? Well, actually, SpongeBob, uh, there's two words. And they're not very good. You're fired. <laughs> Fire! 
Dad? Well, you see, uh, I've been doing some calculating and, you know, crunching the old numbers. And, and it turns out that I'll save a whole nickel if I cut your salary. Completely. But, uh, but, uh, how about if I work for free? Yeah, I looked into that. Apparently, it's illegal. And I lose my vendor's license, blah, 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 blah. Oh, excuse me, is that mine? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Take it. You know I love you like a son. But you can't argue with a nickel. Hey, what about me? Can I get fired too? I'm afraid not, Squidward. You've got seniority. Oh, yeah. Nope, it's gotta be you, son. You're canned. Here's your pink slip. I'm giving you the axe. You're fired. Oh, SpongeBob, I almost didn't recognize you. You look awful. You're falling apart. Come on now, SpongeBob. You need to pull yourself together. Get some structure in your life. What you need is a new job. Greetings, purveyor of elongated sausage products. I would love to work at your establishment. Well, you do look enthusiastic. Huh. All right, kid. Let's see what you got. Hmm. There's something not quite right about this food, but I'm not sure what it is. Aha! Uh -huh. Weenies. Your weenies, sir. What in the name of Davy Jones's gym shorts are these? They're weenie patties. What are you? Some kind of nut? You've ruined my weenies! You're fired! Ah, but Mr. Krabs, why? Mr. Who? I mean Mr. Wiener! Just go. You need a fry coke? Oh, boy, do I. Can you make pizza? Okay. Probably. Oh, that's amazing. Congratulations. You're hired. Cool. Well, it's no Krabby Patty, but perhaps I'll find contentment. Everybody has a pizza coming. Almost done, but I did change the recipe a bit. <laughs> yeah, well, no problem. A few extra toppings never hurt anyone. Huh? What have you done? You turned an innocent pizza into a pizza patty. It's an abomination. Yeah, of deliciousness. You're fired. Mm, but who will make the Krabby Patties? Krabby Patties? What do you think this is, the Krusty Krab? <laughs> The Krusty Krab has really gone downhill. How can you serve this slop? I'm never eating here again. Wait, come back! That was my last customer. SpongeBob? Squidward, you found him! <gasps> Squidward? I'm afraid so. SpongeBob. Yes, Squidward? You know I hate you, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Well... I hate the smell of burning Krabby Patties even more. Please come back and be the fry cook again. Well, if it's okay with you, Mr. Krabs. Oh, Letty, I should have never let you go. The Krusty Krab is falling apart without you. You're rehired, boy. All right! Now my life has purpose again! Let's get this place cleaned up! <laughs> Exactly my color. The Krusty Krab is back in business! Where's 
was my executive treatment. I told you it's for executives only. And you aren't even dressed like an executive. I could, of course, sell you an official Krusty Krab business tie for only $10. Will the tie let me order the executive treatment? Not on its own, no. But you could crabby size the tie and get a set of business glasses for an additional $10. <laughs> well, I'd be stupid not to. Well, you're half right. Here's your 20 bucks. Here's your glasses. Thanks. I'll take one executive treatment, my good man. Here's your executive treatment. Here you go. Oh, man. That looks executively delicious. Carl, what are you doing standing around at a time like this? We're going to be late for the big brainstorming meeting. Oh, my. Save my sandwich for me, Squidward. Right here is where all the biggest business decisions in the business are made. Why, if an imposter were to be caught in here? Mm. He'd be given a sandwich and sent on his way? No. He'd be convicted as a corporate spy and sent to jail for ever and ever and ever. Uh, hey, where are you going? I think I forgot to water my manatee. I'll just... Gentlemen, ladies. Where am I? Exactly. I like you, young man. Everybody scoot down so you can sit next to me, and I won't intimidate him at all by my terrifying largeness and proximity. As this junior executive so eloquently put it, where exactly are we? Uh, sir, if you take a look at this, I believe you'll agree that we are perfectly positioned for our marketing to be number one across the business sector. Business, 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 business. business, business. What I need is a straight answer, not a bunch of meaningless charts. What do you give a disappointed stockholder to make him feel better? A sandwich? <laughs> Come on, this guy! A sandwich! <laughs> this guy has sandwiches on the brain. No, I don't! <laughs> That's just about the silliest piece of idea. All right, hold it. Now all of you just hold it right there. It's easy to laugh and josh and keep a man with scorn when you hear an idea that stands out because it's so unusual. So everybody just stop and think for a minute about what your colleague here is really trying to say, because I want to be the one to tell him. That's the silliest thing I've ever heard. What if I have a meaningless chart? Yes. Maybe I was too hasty about that. <laughs> Jenkins! Yes, sir. Mustache. I would like to submit my official report. You know, kid, we need somebody like you around here. You do? I need a fire. Oh, yeah? Well, I got a surprise for you. <laughs> Where did he go? You can't fire me. I'm not an executive. I'm just a guy who happens to like sandwiches. Who is it? Hello, Patrick. Hi, SpongeBob. Hey, I heard you're in charge of the laundry room on Thursdays. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty nice, I guess. You know what that makes you? Uh-uh. An executive! Oh, wait! Is that what I think it is? Uh-huh. An executive treatment. What happened to prisoner six six five three two one? Let's go home, SpongeBob. Okay, but who are you? <laughs> no, seriously, who are you? I need something to take my mind off that blasted secret formula for a while. 
But what? I know. How about taking care of an inferior life form? You mean a pet? That's a great idea! But how will I find a pet that fits my dynamic personality? SpongeBob! Yeah! I have the perfect solution to your problem. SpongeBob? How could you possibly help me? You should try the local animal shelter. That's where I found my Gary. Oh, yeah? Well, perhaps you're on to something there. Here it is, the Bikini Bottom Animal Shelter. Your perfect pet awaits. Now, if you just listen to your heart, you'll be able to pick out the right pet as soon as you see it. Hmm, too big. Too sloppy. Too stupid. Hi, SpongeBob. Hey, Patrick. Oh, oh, what about this one? Are you kidding me? Algae on a rock? I want a pet, not a plant. It's no use. There's nothing for me here. Oh, no! Plankton! You know, I can't say I'm surprised. <laughs> Hey there, little guy. <laughs> Looks like we have a winner. Oh, so cute. What you gonna call him? He looks like a spot to me. That name provokes a violent reaction. Spot it is. <laughs> this is your target. I want you to retrieve the Krabby Patty. Now security is tight, so I've devised a plan. Wait, where are you going? You're not ready! I'd like a large. What was that? Didn't see it, don't care. <laughs> Holy plot twist! It's a Krabby Patty! It's a miracle! Karen, look at what Spot brought home! It's wonderful! Spot deserves a reward. He can have anything he wants up to half my kingdom. Er, uh, laboratory. I think he wants your Krabby Patty. <laughs> no! no! You've been a very bad... Amoeba, bad amoeba! I'm afraid you'll have to be punished. You need a time out. I'm just gonna tie you up out here until you learn to behave. Shouldn't take more than five minutes. Oh no, no, I must be strong. I can't do it. Spot, I'm sorry. I I think it's closed for the night. Ooh, it's dark in here. I'll find a light switch. Aha! Nope, that's not it. Aha! Found the lights! Uh, SpongeBob, what was that first switch for? I don't know. I think it unlocks the pens? I thought so, because now the animals are loose! SpongeBob. Run for it. Yep. <laughs> I think we lost him. SpongeBob, before we're torn to shreds, I'd like to thank you for helping me look for Spot. Aw, uh, it was nothing. Hey, speaking of Spots, did you always have a double pupil? A double what? Spot! Thank Entropy, you're safe! You were hiding on my optical cornea the whole time, you sneaky little amoeba, you. <laughs> Aw, I'm glad you found Spot. Unfortunately, the animals found us, too. Goodbye, Spot. I guess this is the end of the road for us. Spot, no! <laughs> I was in such a hurry, I almost forgot my pants. Yes, I 
saw that. I guess I was in a panic. I mean, I can't believe we're running so late for work. Can you, huh, Squidward? Can you believe it? Are you panicking, too? Late for work, late for work. We're running late for work, right? Late? We're gonna be there 15 minutes early. I know! Only 15 minutes early? Maybe we should take a shortcut. Oh, Squidward, what are you doing? <laughs> Look, we're walking in a straight line. I don't follow. A straight line is the shortest distance between any two points. Speak English, Brainiac. Ah! Well, I guess this is where we part ways. But I can't wait to see your face when you get to work and I'm already there. Ah, that's the face! That's the look! Ah! First you do a zig, then you take a little zag. That's how you find the shortcut. Crawl underneath the fence, struggle through a bush. And that's how you find a shortcut. Huh? Straight line, point A to point B. You're still not getting it. Oh, tartar sauce. Maybe I should have zagged when I zigged. First you do a zag, crawl underneath the fence, then you take a little zig. That's how you find the shortcut. Ah, there, that's better. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, now, this is what I call a real great shortcut. Now, all I have to do is remember my wilderness training so I don't get lost. First rule of wilderness training is map out your course by taking note of local landmarks. Local landmarks. Aha! Right at this large and unusual shell. Right at this abandoned sofa. And job left at the broken fire hydrant. Ah, 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 ah. There it is! The Krusty Krab! name of a restaurant? No, it's a typo. Could you perhaps tell me how to get to the Krusty Krab from here? Never heard of it. Oh, you should try it. It's the best place to eat in all of Bikini Bottom. Here, take these coupons. Thanks. I'm going to go there right now. I thought you didn't know where the Krusty Krab was. Oh, what do I do now? <laughs> Remember your landmarks. Sandy's wilderness tips are always on the money. Okay, let's see. I came from... No, I, I came... I'm lost! Over the cliff! Through the toxic runoff! Make a right at the disease-filled sewer pipe! Face first into this fetid muck! Over the garbage pile! Fall down this mountain of broken glass! Over the excruciatingly sharp razor wire. <laughs> Up this massive hill. <sighs> That's the crusty crab. And I'm still two minutes early. <laughs> Krusty Krab patrons, how I've missed you. Oh, how I've missed your youthful faces. I miss the bathroom, too. But most of all, I miss you, choking guy. Patrick, how did you get here? Same way I always do. Scott gave me a ride in his pedicab. <laughs> Squidward! Squidward, can you believe I made it? Oh, congratulations. What are you doing, boy? You're scared away all me customers with your foul stench. Mr. Krabs. Oh, no, lad. You're not coming in here looking like that. You're going straight home for a nice long bubble bath. Aye, aye, sir. What? He gets to go home and take a bubble bath? That's my turn. Yes, it is. And consequently, you are just neat as a pin. Now get to work. I'm as neat as a pin. Good night, kiddo. 
Good night, boss man. Patrick and I are locked up. Fine, but no eating me inventories. Okay. Or me furniture. What? Come on, boss man. We can't eat anything. Why are we here? Ah, simple, my five-pointed friend. On this night, we shall make contact with the unliving. By performing a seance. And can we eat some furniture? No. <laughs> Consort to the spirit world, I now commence this seance. I shall invoke the specter of rusty rickets by reading from the sacred text. Distilled vinegar, water, number one mustard seed, salt, turmeric, paprika, natural flavors. I now summon the spirit of rusty rickets. Know, too, that I beckon the spirit of Rusty's ribeye. Rusty's ribeye! Well, where's Rusty? Rusty, how about spilling the beans on the old Rusty on Rye recipe? Oh, well, that was just gibberish. Hmm, I got it. How about you write down the recipe for the classic number nine? Club lip. Oh, right, you're a ghost. Hmm, what if you just showed me how you make one? Close off of... A rye sandwich carved entirely of driftwood? Mamma mia! Shellac. Oh, you want me to try it? Bless Okay. Mmm, <laughs> smells industrial. Oh, I'm sure it's an acquired taste. Is that? Mm. It is a rusty on rye. Gentlemen, get up here. The number nine is back. You better have a darn good reason for getting me out of bed, boy. Is that good enough for you? Spongebob, this is a part of the story where I run away again. Only I don't know where else to go, so I'm just gonna go circle around the building! Ah, 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 ah. Looks like a certain foolish sponge has been conversing with the unliving. All right, you floating nuisances. Time for the boss man to mop up. <laughs> Better up! Yeah! This 
is the greatest company picnic ever? Yes, yes it is. Pace yourself, Squidward. The fun is just getting started. Is this toilet paper we're sitting on? Oh, don't think of it as just toilet paper. It has thousands of uses. Here's one. Well, I guess things will pick up once the food gets here. Right you are. Here's the food. Uh, yeah. Oh, you're confused. Let me show you a little hack. See, you open it with your teeth. There. Isn't that fun? And afterwards, you can toss it around like, uh, you know, one of those things you toss around. Company picnic? That's not how you spell company picnic. Yes, who? Layton. <laughs> Just what do you think you're doing, Clayton? Uh, what do you mean? I I'm having my company picnic. This is our spot. Oh, yeah? Well, it's my spot now. Come now, can't we all just share? Nothing should spoil this perfect day. Aww. You don't even have any employees. Aww. Sure I do. Those are my new hires, Simi and Tally. Just look at them tossing the disc around. A real disc? Ha! Go on, SpongeBob! Show this upstart how we chuck the old mustard plate around! Well, I... You're all welcome to join us, of course. There's plenty of fun for all! Uh, no thanks, Plankton. We're having a great time at our own company picnic. <laughs> hey, Plankton. What are Simi and Tally up to? Oh, just setting up the rest of the activities. The cotton candy machine, hot roasted peanuts, games of cans, bottles you can knock over to win a prize, the world's most exciting roller coaster, a deep fryer for delicacies. Delicacies? And of course, the dunking booth. <laughs> Have you seen the calliope? I'm out of here. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> you can never have too many. Hey, sweetie bird. Having lots of fun over here. I've got a plate that's made of paper. <laughs> Paper plate. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it's good enough for Mr. Krabs, it's good enough for me. <laughs> I have to say, Mr. Plankton, if this is how you treat your employees. Say no more, my friend. If you'd care to work for me, just sign this contract with this delicious candy pen. Woo! Me first! Me first! Oh, don't bother to read it. Now that's such a fun day. That's such great advice! <laughs> This is working far better than I planned. With Krabs as my employee, I can order him to give me the Krabby Patty formula, and the Krusty Krab will be no more. <laughs> um, hello, Plankton. Uh oh. Mr. Krabs, don't sign it! Play Candy Pen! Simmy, look out! There's a Candy Pen headed straight for your eye due to my of slotting it away without first considering the trajectory. Oh, I wish I could get my words out faster, but everything's in slow motion. about those delicacies I was eating. Oh! Whew, that was a good... You saved me, boy. How did you do it? I guess my mind was all sharp from the relaxing fun I had at your company picnic, Mr. Krabs. Unbelievable! Uh -oh. The greatest company picnic ever! All right, enough relaxing. Back to work. Good day, 
sir. Are you yeti to order? Ow. Oh, Squidward. What, 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 huh? You are not going to believe this. There's a yeti crab at table seven. And he is sniffing out the lazy. <laughs> of course he is. Nice costume, Eugene. Couldn't you at least have it dry cleaned or pressed? <laughs> this morning, did we? Please don't eat us, Mr. Yeti. We're not lazy. Oh, yes, I am. Oh, boy. I'll have to work twice as hard to make up for Squidward's laziness. Uh-huh. A wobbly table. Oh, we can't have that. Come on. No. There, perfect. Time to top off the mustard. What the do you mind? Sorry, Squidward, just varnishing the ceiling. Oh, I hope you're happy, Mr. Krabs. You're driving him insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll leave me if I'm lazy. What a... Not the home and garden section. Oh, sorry. Just making sure all the rivets are securely welded. SpongeBob, we have no customers today. Ergo, we have nothing to do, no matter what that buffoon wants you to think. Shh, Squidward, he might hear you. Don't worry, Mr. Yeti Crab, we have plenty to do. I can replenish the toilet paper. And redecorate Mr. Crab's office. And refold the napkins into origami figures. Knit straw cozies. Clean the soap. Reclaim the grill. Washing inside the walls. Sucking up every dust particle in the restaurant. Have you lost it, SpongeBob? Lost it? <laughs> lost it? Uh, what a silly thing to say. <laughs> Guess I'm down to the comic section. Squidward! You were right. There's no more work to do. I have done it all. Which means he is gonna eat us! That does it! I have had it with this ridiculous ruse! Using fear to prey on a feeble mind! Even SpongeBob doesn't deserve that! Enjoy spooking the witness, eh, Krabs? Well, we'll just see how you like it. <laughs> Roar! See? I can dress up as a convincing Yeti Crab, too! Sorry, Mr. Krabs. I'm a little busy trying to pull off this stupid mask of yours. Uh, Squidward? Why? Wow. Oh! Ah! We're as good as Yeti food! I blame Squidward. Guys? Do you hear that? You mean the sound of my own flesh sizzling to a crisp? No, I'm talking about the sound of a hungry customer. He doesn't want to eat us for being lazy. He wants to eat us because he's hungry. Fellas, leave this to me. Way to go, boy! He loves it! And look, he's a paying customer. Come back and see us anytime, Mr. Yeti Crab. Hey, what are you two doing standing idle? Squidward, sweep out the crow's nest. No. Done. Refinish me floors. No. Done. Build me a new safe. No. -uh. Consider it done. Have us there, lad. You're wasting your valuable tears, salting me patties with grief. I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. Oh, I can't even cry right. <laughs> there, there. Failing your driver's test is nothing to cry over. Oh, I've been in driving school as long as I can remember, and I still don't have my license. How much do they charge you this driving school of yours? Oh, about $100 a semester. $100 a semester? Well, you can do it for double the price in half the time. Really? Sure. I taught my own daughter Pearl how to drive like a little angel. Hi, Daddy. I need money for 
shoes. Sure, anything for me, little angel pearl. Thanks, Daddy. Uh, are you sure about this, Mr. Krabs? <laughs> Why, I couldn't be sure, lad. You don't need a professional to teach you how to drive. You know, Mr. Krabs, at boating school, Mrs. Wipe that boating school malarkey out of your mind, son. It's all a racket. It is? And that goes for every kind of schooling. Why, there ain't nothing truly important. You can't learn on the streets with half a jigger of common sense and your own two claws. Now put her in gear. Okay. <laughs> well, rookie mistake, boy. Happens all the time. It does? No, but you got the right fire in your belly. I do? Yes. Uh, well, you know what we need is a change of venue. This empty parking lot is just the ticket. Like every young person, the novice bowler needs plenty of open, obstacle-free space and the freedom to make mistakes. Mr. Krabs, you're so wise. <laughs> Can't disagree with you there. All right, put her in gear! Hmm. Rookie mistake, right? I suppose so. Now slowly, inch forward, and we'll check out the damage. Inch, 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 inch. Oh, broken wall. That's about 15,000. Oh, kitchen fire. Oh, that'll be about six grand. Oh, lawsuit. Oh, that's a lot of zeros. Oh. All right, Chris. Get a hold of yourself. You've been in worse fixes than this. Well, you stared down at Cunning's mouth, haven't you? Look at that face. Oh, oh. Is this the face of your final defeat? Is it, Krabs? Oh, my gosh. There she blows! Ready double roundabout. Most treacherous treacher road in on a bikini bottom. To your starboard, you yield. To your port, they yield to you. And when you're in the middle, it's every man for himself and the devil take the rest. I don't think I'm ready for this, Mr. Krabs. Nonsense, boyo. All it takes is some confidence and a little coordination. Well, your little pet snail could do it. Oh, I thought you were just using Gary as a colorful example, Mr. Krabs. Oh, he's colorful, all right. But he's also going to teach you how to drive. Now, go! Wow! SpongeBob, did you see how Gary did that? Uh, yeah, some of it. Fuck up, me boyo. It's your turn next. My turn? Gee, Mr. Krabs, you must really believe in me. Not really. Sir, is this your vehicle? Well, yes, yes, officer, it is. And did I just see you let a snail negotiate this vehicle through a dangerous intersection? You sure did. Uh, I mean, you didn't. I mean, well, no. I mean, well, yes. I mean, uh, look, it was just a friendly little example, right? Colorful example. I was teaching the lad to drive. By putting a snail behind the wheel. Well, I mean, really, he was more on top of the wheel. Meow. This ticket's coming out of your paycheck, boy. My first real traffic ticket. Oh, this is going to require something more than money, sir. <laughs> what could be worse than spending money? <laughs> All right, class. Please say hello to our newest classmate, Mr. Krabs. Hello, Mr. Krabs. I can't watch. Is the scary part over? Uh, hold on. I'll take a peek. Thank you for meeting me, Edwina, at midnight. Patrick, it's okay. You sure? Oh, it's worse! They're kissing! I love you, Susie. It's Jennifer. I'll never leave you, Jennifer. Goodbye, Margaret! Come on! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Close eyes, too scary. Uh, I can't hold your eyelids. 
just don't think about the fisherman. Oh no, I will not think about the fisherman. Sleep tight. Oh, the fisherman, the fisherman, blah, blah, blah. They want a fisherman, eh? Oh, give him a fisherman. And ow. No. No. Um. No. Aha! It's time for those lame brains to meet the real fisherman. This is gonna be good. Oh, someone there? Uh, huh? What's that? What? It's something stuck. Uh, huh. Oh, wait a second. Oh, yeah, that's a spot. To the left? Oh, yeah. All right. Right there. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. Someone's here? You just said. Oh, yeah. Uh, the fisherman's here. The fisherman! That thing's eating Squidward. Not our bestest buddy. We've got to save him. Okay. Play 33. I need you to go long. And Break! You're going down, fisherman! <laughs> Don't worry, Squidward. We'll get you out of that old monster. <laughs> Let this guy through the window! Us. We were only doing what any good friends would do for their bestest buddy. Oh, I guess we don't have to worry about that old monster anymore. You are cordially invited to the fanciest and schmanciest artistic event of the season, the opening of Galleria Diphtheria. Oh, I've heard of that. <laughs> Bikini Bottom's most exclusive fine art showcase. This invitation guarantees the admittance of Squidward Tentacles. Squidward Tentacles. Pluzone. Uh, it's a plus one. <gasps> yeah, what are you still doing here? It's not Pluzone. It says plus. One. Plus one. Oh, yeah, of course. Plus one. Sure. What's a plus one? Well, when you get an invitation to a party, sometimes they put plus one on it to tell you it's okay to bring along a friend. Do you have to do it? Well, no, you could go alone. It's just that everyone would laugh at you because they'd think you were a friendless loser. What? Do you want me to call your supervisor and tell him you're just standing around? <laughs> You need to find a friend to take as your plus one. Somebody like me? I like openings. No, not like you. There you are. Not in the face. 
What? What are you? Oh, <laughs> you always were a big kidder, huh? <laughs> Mailman guy. Actually, I'm not a kidder. I'm much more of an introvert. I love introverts. Why, I'm an introvert. You are? Say, I bet we have a lot in common. <laughs> Gee, I don't know. I'm just a regular guy. When I'm not being a mailman, I love going to fancy art galleries. That's me! And eating delicious food. Oh, delicious food is my favorite kind of food. Especially when that delicious food is something you can spread, spread on a toast, toast point. point. <laughs> <laughs> Once you've had pointed toes, you just never want any other kind. Right? And if there's one thing I hate, it's clarinets. Yeah, I know it. What? I mean, what kind of maniac can enjoy the sound of a clarinet? That squeaky, hollow, kind of piercing howl from the very pits of Gehenna. Only a deluded blowhard with nothing to lose could pick up a ugh, clarinet and think, yeah, this is for me. Let me inflict this pain on the world. <laughs> Am I right, buddy? <laughs> Buddy? You know, you're all right, Lester. It's Larry. Whatever. The point is, do you want to go with me to a gallery opening tonight? Well, that's not my kind of thing at all, but for you, sure. I just need to stop by the apartment and make myself a protein shake. What? You don't need that glop. Oh, I wouldn't call it glop. Protein shakes save my life, bro. Oh, come on. It's a fad. You don't want to be one of those mindless rubes who marches around in a constant haze of stupidity. I love protein shakes. I'm the most gullible rube on the planet. <laughs> Give me my stupid with protein shake. I mean... So are we still on for tonight? Seven-ish? I guess it's just you and me again. Yeah. What are you doing here? Just playing draggy rope. You want to play? No. You hold on to one end of the rope, and you drag it behind you like a sea snake is chasing you like this. Want to play? Just get me out of here. Will do. Thanks. Anything for a friend. Friend? Would you be my plus one? Come on, SpongeBob. And here comes Squidward Tentacles in what must be either a bizarre piece of performance art or the saddest display of loneliness it has ever been my displeasure to report. One is inclined to suspect the second thing I said. The thing about sadness! You always be my plus one. Oh. 